everyone and welcome back to Reality Check with Jess. So that was a quick one. I just posted an update about new court updates and guess what? SCOTUS has actually agreed to hear the student loan case. I will explain what this means in a moment. Please make sure that you like and subscribe, ring the bell so that you get all the latest updates. Also in the corner is my cash app, Torah Blessed. I definitely appreciate any and all donations. So this is fresh off the presses, literally within the past, I think five minutes, this just was released. Um, so it says certiori granted. If you're confused at what I mean, please go and take a look at my SCOTUS or Supreme Court um, video where I go through what all of this means, what the petition says, what we could expect, etc. So here it says consideration of the application to vacate the injunction presented to Justice Kavanaugh and by him referred to the court is deferred pending oral argument. So basically right now, the part where they've asked them to get rid of the injunction, uh, SCOTUS and Kavanaugh specifically said, okay, well, wait until we go to an oral argument stage. Then it says the application to vacate the injunction is also treated as a petition for a writ of certiori before a judgment, and the petition is granted on the questions presented in the application. So that means that we are not going to have to wait until the Eighth Circuit Court goes through their full appeals process, that the Supreme Court is going to take this case now. And don't forget, they also are going to um, petition to have the Fifth Circuit uh, ruling, um, well, not the Fifth Circuit, the Texas ruling, they petitioned it to the Fifth Circuit, and the Fifth Circuit just declined to put an injunction uh, on that ruling that stops the debt. So they're going to be taking that to the Supreme Court too, or petitioning the Supreme Court for that. But right now, this is about the six GOP states. They originally won that case, um, but then on appeal by the states, uh, judges granted basically a permanent injunction until the appeal is resolved. So um, the Department of Education went to the Supreme Court and said, hey, if you wait until this appeal process is done, then we won't be hearing this until, you know, beyond next year, probably I think like 2024 or something. So in order to get it on the 2023 calendar, they petitioned right away. And so the writ of certiori was them saying, please take it from the lower courts, and then you actually make the decision. Um, so they agreed to that, and it says the clerk is directed to establish a briefing schedule that will allow the case to be argued in the February 2023 argument session. When I checked out supremecourt.gov, it looks like the argument dates they have for February are at the last two weeks of February. So basically, this will be um, heard by the Supreme Court in the last two weeks of February. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to combine this with the um, Fifth Circuit appeal that they're trying to get up to SCOTUS as well, or if these are going to be two different things. Um, they may be combining that. I don't know how that would work. I'll see what happens. And when I find out, I will definitely let you guys know. But I just wanted to give you this good update that the Supreme Court has accepted to hear this case. And remember, if the Supreme Court says, hey, this is constitutional, there's nothing illegal about it, then that cancels out all of that stuff. That overturns anything against student loan relief. And essentially, people really can't bring cases to stop it at that point. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens now. We don't know because if they rule against it, that could stop it permanently on the HEROES Act. Now, what I've said before in other videos, and we're actually someone, maybe they listened to my video, I'm not sure, but there is a particular person who was interviewed in another article who actually said the same thing that I have been saying, which is that the Democrats still hold the majority until the end of the year, right now until they go on their holiday break, right? Because the new folks don't come in until January. Since one of the main issues with these cases was that they were saying that Congress didn't give the direct permission, et cetera, et cetera. Congress could easily pass a bill that says, okay, we're giving the president permission to do this. We're giving the direct, the secretary of education permission to do this. They can make a bill that's actually just specific to this plan that doesn't even give anything broad if they wanted to. Um, so really it's in their hands, but they're really choosing not to. People can say mansion and cinema and whatever, whatever. It doesn't matter. They're choosing not to. 
Okay, there's not even been anything brought up for a vote. Um, but as you see, they've been passing other things really quickly before, you know, the tides turn. So they've been getting some bills passed real quickly now in the past few weeks. Why haven't they done anything with student loan debt relief? That should tell you something, folks. But again, just want to bring you this news. Um, again, please make sure that you like and subscribe. Ring the bell so that you stay up to date on all the latest information notifications. And again, my cash up is Torah Blessed, and I will speak to you soon. Mm -hmm.